The S&P 500 most likely is going to break down very soon. The reason is the VIX index. The VIX index is calculated using the standard SP500 options. The S&P 500 options has multiple expiries and only the options that will expire in the next 23 days to less than 37 days will be included in this calculation. No need to worry about the math used in the calculation or the fundamentals behind it. Basically, the VIX index measure the fear in the S&P 500 index. So when the VIX index is low, that means there is nothing to fear in the market. And usually the S&P 500 will be drifting up. And when the VIX index spikes, that means there is an event that is going to happen soon or just happened. And usually the market, which is the S&P 500, will tank. Overall, the VIX index is always in a down drift which is expected because the S&P 500 is always in an up drift. So this is the S&P 500 index with monthly bars. And in general, we hover between 10 and 20. And anything above 20 is considered a spike. That means there is an event in the market going to happen or just happened. And when the index is extremely low below 10, that means we should expect an event to happen very soon. I just wanted to show you here the spikes. This is the subprime crisis 2008 and this is the COVID crisis in 2020. And these are small spikes, but if I put the S&P 500 below it, you can see that whenever we have a spike, the market tanks. And even those spikes, remember this is monthly chart, so we can see a small drift down here. Also, this is COVID and we can see the dip here. Now, if I switch this to daily, now we can see the correlation in a clearer way. So we can see anytime the VIX is up, the market is down. We can see there is a high correlation between the S&P 500 and the VIX index because the VIX index, as I mentioned, is calculated from the options on the S&P 500. This is the weekly chart of the VIX index and we can see we are making new lows recently. These laws did not happen since 2020. And from the daily time frame of the VIX index, we can see that we made a yearly low in June of this year and two lows in July and then another low in August. And just recently, we are also hovering around the same low in beginning of September. The VIX index, which is also called the fear index, is a mere reverting index. That means usually when we contract a lot, we are going to blow up very soon. And when we blow up, usually we will come down also very soon. So as you saw from the previous chart, we already made three new lows this year alone. That only tells me that we are going to spike very soon. Of course, I'm not the only one looking at this chart and expecting a huge spike soon. In fact, SeasonX just published an article about the volatility. Now, SeasonX is a seasonal pattern recognition engine and using their engine they come up with this chart this chart represents more than 100 years of seasonal study on the dow jones volatility basically what the seasonal chart shows is that the volatility usually drift lower in january and again lower in april lower in july lower in november and december and go up february and march may june august september and october now we can use the seasonal chart to trade the vix index the way we do that is by trading the future derivatives of the vix index so here is the vix index represented by at vx that's the continuous future symbol of the vix index here i applied a strategy that shorts the beginning of every month like I told you, the VIX index drifts lower all the time, just like the S&P 500, it drifts up all the time. Of course, we will have the spikes on the way up. So for example, this one, and again, this one. But even with all the spikes, the strategy is very profitable. Shorting every beginning of the month and exiting at the end of the month, that means we are always in the market. And here I have data for almost 17 years. We can see we are making about $160,000 with a maximum drawdown of $71,000.
Of course, that's a huge drawdown and it is expected because we're holding all the time and of course we will hold these spikes. In total, we have 203 trades on average $785 per trade. That is a very good average trade and our win rate is almost 70%. So if I want to add the seasonality to this strategy, I'm going to optimize by buying every month separately. And this is the result. So from January all the way to December. And now we can compare our strategy to the seasonal pattern. So January is down. So we expect to make money in January and we are. February and March are up. So we expect to lose money. So February we are losing, but March we are not. And then April is down. We expect to make money. That's also true. And then July is down. We expect to make money. That is also true. And then August, September, October, we are going up. So we expect to lose money. So August, we are losing. September is very low. October, we are losing money. And then November and December are down and we expect to make money. And it is also true. So this just shows how robust is this pattern. The seasonal pattern for the past 100 years matches the trades that we are having for the past 15 plus years. So now we can build the strategy using this pattern confidently or we can use the seasonal pattern as a filter for other strategies on the S&P 500. To demonstrate how we can use this seasonal pattern as a filter for other strategies, I'm going to use a strategy that is well known, especially if you are a viewer of the channel, which is the RSI2. It's the default strategy. If the RSI2 below 30, we will buy. And if the RSI2 above 70, we will sell. This is the strategy result, $180,000 in profits with $35,000 in drawdown. About 400 trades for the past 16 years with $450 on average per trade. Now at the bottom here, I have my proprietary indicator, Stat Oasis Volatility Market Regime. This indicator is included in my Algo Trading Masterclass. Algo Trading Masterclass is about teaching anyone how to build robust strategies. I use StrategyQuant X software to automate the building process and the robustness testing of the strategies. And like I mentioned, StatWaste's market regime is included in ATM. So this is version two of the indicator, which will launch very soon. And as you saw from the VIX index, the volatility is drifting down this year. So this is May of last year and we peaked July last year and we have been drifting down. Now this indicator has three states. The green is low volatility, the red is high volatility and the yellow is normal volatility. So I can optimize the strategy, which is the RSI instead of the months. Now I can optimize it based on the volatility regime. So we have three only zero means there is no market regime selected. So zero is the original strategy and one to three are the volatility regimes. And here are the results of the optimization. So this is the original strategy, 180,000 profits, 35,000 in drawdown, about 400 trades an average of 450 per trade. So our return to drawdown is five and our profitability is 74%. The first market regime is the quiet market regime. We can see when the market regime is quiet, that means the volatility is drifting lower. That is the best time to go long on the S&P 500, which of course makes perfect sense. It is aligned with all that we mentioned previously in this video. So we make less money, but also we make almost third of the maximum drawdown. We do this with half the trades, same average trade, but now because of the low drawdown, even though we are making less money, we are seven to one in return to drawdown ratio. We don't sacrifice the win rate of the strategy and we increase our profit factor to two and a half. The second market regime is the normal volatility. This is the yellow bar and we can see this is the lowest average trade, low number of trades, so we make less money, but we have a higher drawdown than the original strategy. And finally, this is the high volatility market regime. We are making almost the same amount of money, but now our maximum drawdown is even higher than the original. And that's why we have 2.3 return to drawdown ratio. Now we can use this indicator to filter the normal volatility market regime. And then our RSI strategy will only trade 
in low volatility and high volatility. So this is our original strategy. And if we exclude the normal volatility, so we lowered the net profit from 180 to 165, but our drawdown did not change. Now, if we notice the indicator, it is three states and it matches the VIX index by going up and down. But we can see clearly that even though this is red and this is red and this is red, they are not all at the same level. So there is another way to use this filter, which is a rising volatility and a falling volatility. From all the information that we mentioned in the beginning of the video, we know that when the VIX index is falling, usually the S&P 500 is drifting up. So it makes sense then that we test if this indicator falling, then we take the RSI trade. Although I mentioned the fundamental reason why the RSI strategy should perform better in a falling volatility regime, still I would like to test the rising volatility regime. So this is the original strategy. And if I compile with the rising volatility regime, we can see now we are making 89,000 with $45,000 maximum drawdown. So we definitely reduced the profits to almost half and we increased our <laughs> maximum drawdown by almost half. And now let's use the condition of the falling volatility regime. So that means we will only go long using the RSI 2 below 30 if the volatility is falling. So if we compile, and now we can see we're making less money, but also our drawdown is 20. And of course, we increase our return to drawdown ratio. So using the trade analysis, we are making 244 trades, making almost $600 on average per trade. So using the falling volatility, it's better than using the state regime, which is only trading in lower volatility. Our equity curve is amazing. I mean, look how smooth is this curve. If you are a regular viewer of the channel, you know how I love this strategy and I have many versions of it in my portfolios. And in fact, I am building a big template with the right filters for this strategy alone. So keep an eye on this channel to see when you can get it. To learn more, make sure to watch this video and I will see you there.